Good morning everyone, it is 7.15 a.m. and today I'm going to be melting pistachio cupcake by uh, the Cheeky Unicorn Boutique. I think they um, switched over to this name um, versus the Mabel Lee's because um, I actually got this clamshell from my friend Lisa over the Scented Life and um, yeah, I'm pretty sure she said that um, they're now this vendor is actually going by this name. And anyways, um actually excited to melt this because this is actually the first plant based wax melt that you know I've melted and actually eager to see um how it throws and what type of warmer I should be using. And with that being said, um let me actually sniff this. Oh wow, okay, so I am getting like a, more of like a, I wouldn't say authentic pistachio, it's more of like a liqueur pistachio, um, and by far I'm not getting any type of cu cupcake aroma, and as you guys can see, it looks like it's dye free, pretty sure it's also mica free, and let me actually turn this on so I can weigh a piece out. You know, the wax actually feels pretty soft. It almost kind of feels like the, is that coconut wax? Or palm wax? Yeah, it feels actually pretty soft. I wouldn't say scoopable soft, but it, it feels soft. Okay, so as you guys can see, that's 0.5 ounces. Okay, and I will be using my 24 watt candle warmers hot plate. Okay, let me turn this on and I will get back with you guys in a couple of hours. Okay guys, it is, let me see, it's 12.54 p.m. I think this has been melting five and a half hours or so. Okay, so let me start off with my warmers. Okay, these two are my 24 watt candle warmers hot plate and both were out here in my open concept living room area. This one, um, I put two cubes in it and this one is my 20 watt old style glade hot plate and it was in my bedroom and I put two cubes in it also. And I have to say the throw in my bedroom was quite a bit stronger than out here in my living room, which was, I would say, a consistent light. And something I forgot to mention in the beginning of this video is that this um, formula is from the Cheeky Unicorn Boutique's old formula. So you know, I can't really base the throw off of off of this, considering you know this is not the formula they're using now, and. From what I was able to smell of it on cold sniff and compared to after I first pulled out, you know, it's getting the very, still the, I wouldn't say strong, but a very pungent, like the, like a nutty, like liqueur scent. Wasn't getting any type of like sweet cupcake, bakery, any type of scent like that. So just based off of that, I do not think I will be uh, purchasing this blend um, but by far I think I would like to try some of um, the Cheeky Unicorns other blends for my friend Lisa her recommendations um, there were some oh my gosh there was quite a bit of a list that she said that she liked very much I just don't recall all of them at the moment but by far I would really like to try out this vendor's wax especially um, if the formula has been um, you know reformulated because um, I'm actually interested in this plant-based wax it's very yeah, very interesting but um okay anyways guys that's all for my review today and I'll catch you in my next one tomorrow but I hope you have a good day bye